hey guys welcome back to another video so today is just going to be kind of how you to repair your red iguana hand um after following directions from their youtube channel on how to glue on the fingernail tips and removing them it did not work for me as you can tell <laughs> um you invest in an item and when you don't hear that voiceover telling you how to do it, other than following along, um, makes it kind of difficult because you're not sure exactly if you're doing it right. And for me, soy más pendeja que pendeja. My mom's probably going to yell at me for that. But anywho's, I am what I am. And I followed the directions. I ordered the primer from their website. I ordered the glue from the website and the nail tips. Didn't receive the nail tips. So I had to purchase some from a third party. Thank you, Makari. <laughs> um, but yeah, just that I'm able to do and what I wanted to do and get done. So those nail tips are actually ready. Guana nail tips from the person I purchased from. I asked. Um, they were like, yes, they are. I purchased a hand, paid blah, blah, amount of money. And so, yeah. So I was like, all right, orale pues. You know, we'll just go ahead and get it. See if ready guana will send me the nail tips or refund me. Neither nor happen. After reaching out several times, I just was like, whatever. Did end up getting the silly epoxy, as you can see. Um, that also took forever to get here. But all in all, I grabbed some orange wood sticks. Did not watch their video because, to be honest, there's no like I said voiceover telling you how much you need to put, and you do need to put. Let me tell you. Um, I tried it the first time, didn't work. Um, it was like peeling off the epoxy was just like not dried or cured it cured because it was stuck in between the grooves of where their tear was as you can see i'm putting a pea-sized amount no you need a gob of this and when i mean a gob i mean like if you're on vacation, you forgot your toothbrush, you go to the store the next morning and you put a gob of toothpaste on your toothbrush, that's what you need. You need a bunch. And a bunch of it will ooze out, but that's going to give you that nice clear coat. Like if you were putting on a nail tip onto the free edge of someone's nail and you at a 45 degree angle, you bring it down and it gives you that nice white cast, that clear cast. That is what you need when doing this for repairing the hand. Um, I do have some tissue paper down, napkins, um, orange wood sticks. I have two. I clean the orange wood stick in between because you do really need to clean underneath the free edge of the nail, the sidewalls, the cuticle, because it all just ooze out. And you also want to push back the nail all the way. And then you want to lift. You want to put a nice quarter size gob <laughs> of this stuff. And press it down firmly. It will stick to the nail tip. So don't think you're doing it wrong. Just from firmly press. Clean around the cuticle underneath the nail. Like a manicure you're just cleaning everything up. Um, for it to actually adhere. So I'll let you guys watch and I will be back on in just a few.
Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of explain to you guys what I've done. So again, I had to go back in there and add a lot of the product in order for it to here, adhere right. And as you can see, <coughs> excuse me, as you can see that there is that white cast, like I was mentioning earlier, you want it to make sure that it adheres properly like if it was a nail tip to a free edge of the nail <laughs> so here is I couldn't find my original so I had to grab my hand and show you guys exactly what it looks like afterwards and this is pretty close up as I can possibly get it you can still see where the nail was not set right and here's that really up close personal in your face what i look like now so i hope you guys find this video helpful if you do give it a thumbs up and i hope you guys have a great rest of your week and i will catch you guys on my next video bye guys